So Ken, I have a question for you that comes in a lot here at Loveology about the obsessed spouse with work. This is the person, maybe they're entrepreneurial and they're, man, they are running hard. It's all they talk about. They uh, go out on a date night with their spouse and that seems to be the topic of conversation, what happened at work. And the other spouse is sick and tired of it, frankly. What do you have to say to that couple? What can they do to kind of find their balance, rein that in to do what they need to, to be a little bit more healthy on that front. Yeah, this is a tough one because when we've got an obsessed spouse, it's probably true that they have some major blind spots that they don't even seem to think or realize that they are obsessed and you're the only one. You got to be careful on this. So I would start with digging what is behind the drive. I think that's the question you've got to answer. If you can get to that, now we can begin to have a healthy marital relationship communication process that helps them see what they're actually doing. I think that person who's obsessed is so blinded by it. We've got to help them see what's driving so this. Let what's me, let me just, this. Let me push back on that a little bit because the person maybe that's, that has their own business or is an entrepreneurial, as I said, that they have to almost be obsessed in order to succeed. And so if they're watching that, they're going, King Coleman, uh-uh. I ain't buying that because put yourself in my shoes. I have to be obsessed in order to make it. It's competitive out here. Yeah, I'd say great. And you're right. But you can be obsessed and still be a husband. You can be obsessed and still be a father. You can be obsessed and still be a son. I mean, I get it. Yeah. Um, there's only so much time in the day, but you have other roles. Now, yeah. if you're telling me that you don't have those other roles, then great. But this is a question about what do I do as a spouse when my spouse right. is obsessed? And I'm telling you, you're going to have, don't ask them why, because it's going to put them on the defensive. You got to dig into the what is driving it. Is it fear? Is it doubt or pride? I would tell you from my phone call experience with callers, it's one of those three fear, doubt, pride. They're all cousins, but all very different. Mm -hmm. Except that the driven person might say it's passion. I'm just excited, man. I wake up. I can't wait to get into work. Yeah. And I'd say, hey, I'm with you. That's what I teach all day, every day. You got to love the work itself. It's got to be about the love of the yeah. work. But again, I also love my wife. I also love my kids yeah. and I got to know when to turn it off. That's right. Uh, and, and so it's really about setting aside some really kind of carving out some boundaries. Don't you think that, OK, I love talking about work, but I realize not everybody loves that. And so, I got yeah, here's the switch. I would tell you to focus on a different S word than success because success in this context is usually about wins and money. And I think you got to focus on significance. Am I filling my significant mm. roles? That yeah. CEO, entrepreneur, VP of sales, plus husband, plus father. Right. Because how many times do we know of people that down the road go, oh my goodness, what happened to my kids? Right. Cats in the cradle. Right. Uh, that's, that's exactly all. right. Yeah. So yeah. Ken, these are wise words. Thanks so much.